Tria, take us through that, the moment that you walked away. What was that day like? That day, I just remember playing sick all day. And I went and I got in the bed. And I was like, okay, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? And something just said, end it. That was my first answer, end it. And I remember going out on the balcony. We were at the Wyndham Grand Bay Hotel. I'll never forget it, Coconut Grove. And I actually climbed up on the balcony. And I had one foot propped against the wall. And my other foot I climbed up on the ledge. And I remember looking down. And it's almost like God was able to let me see in the future. And I saw my body laying in blood. And I saw the ambulance come. And I saw the housekeeping come out. And they were pointing up. And they said she jumped from up there. And then I remember my baby's voice in the background going, Mama, Mama, why did Mama jump? Why did Mama leave us? And I remember jumping down. And I said, okay, God, you have to give me an answer today. What do you want me to do if this is not for me and you want me to leave? What do you want me to do? God, I need an answer today, not tomorrow, not in an hour. I need it now. And the first thing God told me, he said, grab your laptop. And I'm like, oh, God, you tripping a laptop. Are you serious? And once I grabbed the laptop, he said, put in domestic violence. And I'm thinking to myself, but I'm not that girl. I'm not, I'm not the teeth missing. I'm not the broken bone girl. And God said, keep scrolling. So I kept scrolling, kept scrolling. And at the end of Domestic Violence Awareness website, there was a questionnaire. And there were 17 questions. And they asked you, has your abuser ever done? And of the 17, Robert had done 15 to me. Oh, my God. 